Welcome to Planet Golf's review of Taylor May's new R15 driver. And uh, what Taylor May have done is they've brought all the technology again into this driver and, and, and simplified it. I think one of the things with the, the R1 was a great driver, but I think it might have overwhelmed a few people. And with the S, uh, SLDR driver, then you've got the track, which was very easy easy to you know to, to decide what you wanted to do if you wanted to play a draw if you wanted to play a fade either split the two or put or put the two 12.5 uh, weights behind the ball to, you know to get as much power as you can or as again or as much forgiveness so it puts all that technology in your hand but a simpler way of doing it <coughs> and with the with moving the center of gravity low and forward into the club face one it gives you a great sweet spot so you get you get that great sound and the great feel of contact. It also gives you a nice high ball flight, but a penetrating ball flight. And that's you know, that was one of the things that I found at Royal St George's, which is a, you know, a really tough course, and you have to manipulate the wind there, and you you know with like right to left into it. So you're always trying to to work with the wind, and, and I really liked the way the club felt, and I always felt that I was in control of the club. And, and it's one of those clubs, you know, when I say, you know, I definitely recommend you put this on your testing list. One of the reasons why is no matter what ability you are, this club grows with you. So if, if you're just starting out and you buy a 10.5 driver like this one is, you can take that up to 12.5 so you get plenty of loft, plenty of forgiveness. And as you, as you practice with it and you learn to get better, you can take it down to, you know, 11.5, 10.5 and then you go down to 9.5 and 8.5 and that's where the better players come in because then they can take the 10.5 down to an 8.5 so they it, helping them gain that extra distance or, or setting the club up to to go with the conditions if it's a really really windy conditions and, and, and you're playing a links course and the wind's always you know most of the holes the wind's going to be in your face you can take it down to 8.5 and get that really no, nice low penetrating ball flight in there if, you, if the wind's going to be behind you then you can take it up to 11.5 and use the wind to launch it down there I really like the club I like the feel of it I, I must admit I do, you know not too many drivers on the market that you know that are better than the tailor-made clubs and, and I like the adjustability they've got and now with with this with the slide here where you can I add it on the draw bias during the four days but obviously as you said it's simple to take it to the fade but it also works as a speed socket in there so you can you know so that gives you the extra distance you know right behind the ball and as I said it's got a, a, a larger sweet spot now and with the center of graffiti low and forward you get plenty of distance on it definitely a club that I would recommend you 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 know give a test to this is the white most of you know who follow these I, I prefer a more traditional club they do do a black version of this but I you know to be fair I got on with the white fine so you know have a go at both and they also do a four point uh, uh, 430 um, this is the 460 they do a 430 so if you want a smaller head try the 4, 430 out but no matter what club you do I, I choose I think you'll enjoy it have fun bye for now